Alright, so I felt obligated to talk about this. This is going to be different than what I normally talk about on the channel because uh, this is talking about screw attack and death battle and stuff like that. Uh, I'm, I'm not really like a power scaler as you guys probably should know if you um, you know if you're active you know viewers of my channel and stuff like that yada 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 <clears throat> um, I just I, I just felt obligated to talk about this because it involves a series that I have watched uh, multiple different times you know over and over again and and then another series that I had already planned to watch before this you know came out and people started talking about it but like about like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, uh, Screw Attack with their last death battle, Thor versus Wonder Woman. At the end of their death battle, before just before the episode ended, or uh, the video ended rather, uh, rather, um, basically what showed up on the screen is it's it, on on November 11th, literally like next fucking week. We're gonna get. They're gonna do a death battle of Naruto versus Ichigo. Naruto from, well, Naruto, and then Ichigo from Bleach. Now, I had already said this before to a couple of my friends that I had already, you know, planned on watching Bleach. I just need to get the time. I just need to get around the time to, you know, watching, you know, stuff that I'm already watching currently, and then, you know, going to watch Bleach and stuff like that. But. I saw this and immediately I was like, are they trying to piss off both fan bases just uh, just for just for the sake of like views and shit? And uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna that's why what, what I thought you know, like I'm gonna go into this death battle right Naruto Uzumaki versus Ichigo Kurosaki right I'm gonna go into this death battle completely unbiased. I've literally seen nothing where nothing. Nothing from Bleach, but pretty much everything from Naruto, right? Even though I've seen nothing from Bleach and everything, pretty much everything from Naruto, and know a lot about the Naruto lore, and nothing about the Bleach lore, I'm gonna go into this unbiased, you know? But the reason why I'm so pissed off that they're really doing this is because of the fact of the other death battles that we have seen. The other death battles that they have done with you know, not just Naruto characters, or Bleach characters, just straight up anime characters. Like, Goku vs. Superman, there was a lot of misinformation and completely lowballing the fuck out of Goku, of, you know, his maximum strength, that it just made it kind of ridiculous, you know? They did the same thing with Gar vs. Toph, that death battle was just fucking retarded. I hate that death battle so fucking much with a passion because not only did they lowball the fuck out of Gara, they like completely made Toph like a god. <laughs> they made Toph a fucking god. But it, it just didn't make any sense because like they like I, like I said they completely lowballed Gara. Like you have to you have to go watch these death battles for the, for yourself and really understand you know <laughs> like what I mean by this like th there are power scalers in the community and without power scalers you know I can never have like proper you know you know I, I can never really properly defend these characters but because I've seen Naruto and Naruto Shippuden and stuff like that multiple times and I've watched like multiple lore videos on just the character of Naruto Uzumaki himself and from after what I've you know researched about Ichigo it just seems kind of straightforward to the fact of I can already tell who's gonna win just just by looking at the just by looking at Naruto versus Ichigo. But this is uh, before I get into all the stuff and the reason uh, why I think who wins specifically, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, um, just the, the big reason why I have stopped caring about Death Battle and why I hate when Screw Attack does anime Death Battle is because. They take the original source material, and from whatever series they're doing, and like let's say they do, uh, fucking for whatever reason, Sakura from Naruto, right? They took all the original source material, 
and you know you know pretty blatant statements and that have been shown and like a uh, uh, whole bunch of different novels uh, the entire manga for Naruto they take all that they take all the original source material from the creator who literally wrote all this down and the, man the mangas and the you know the different novels that have been you know written by Kishimoto they take all of that use very little information that they find that they want to put into the video and then they completely scrap everything else. They take all the original source material and they completely fucking shit on it. They take all of it and then use very little. Very little and it's not even needed. They use pretty much everything else from the anime. And then sometimes if they really want to go into it, they'll go into filler. They'll go into filler and I'm just like, why? Like, I, I made a meme with my friend the other day when he came over, right, after school, right? I was like, I was saying like what I was just, what I was just saying just just a second ago, and I was like, how much you want to bet they're gonna take a filler episode from Naruto Shippuden and they're gonna add Mecha Naruto as a transformation for Naruto? And he's like, oh my god, they might. And I was like, yes, exactly, because that's what Screw Attack might do. You know, they they completely lowball a character and then they completely, you know overhype and make some other character a god because they go by popular opinion like let's say the popular popular opinion is Ichigo Kurosaki from Bleach they're gonna go ahead and make Ichigo win but that makes all the Naruto fans you know really pissed off and shit whatever right and then let's say it's the other way around and all the Bleach fans are gonna get mad so either way both sides are gonna get fucking mad no matter what you do you know it doesn't matter it's it's just the way that they try to explain uh just like how like powerful a character is <laughs> like like i uh, i watch a lot of set the programmer when it comes to power scaling specifically and a lot a lot of memes and jokes that he makes is uh goku is so strong he could live a he can live one punch from an extreme boxer and i'm just like that is like extremely exaggerated but it's 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 that's the joke it's supposed to be exagger exaggerated because they always lowball like like goku for example right they say like goku is so powerful he could destroy a planet easily but characters have been able to destroy a planet since the beginning of dragon ball z in this in the saiyan saga right and they're comparing and, and they're talking about Goku so strong as like a Super Saiyan God at that point he's not even he's not just powerful to destroy a planet he's powerful enough to almost destroy an entire universe probably maybe I'm like maybe I'm kind of you know over exaggerating a little bit but literally they lowball characters they're at their strongest to being able to destroy a planet easily and it's like yeah they always have been so they just oh, like under uh <laughs> they just lowball the fuck out of characters and i'm gonna go ahead and just go into why i think naruto uzumaki wins this death battle it's not even me being a, a naruto fanboy like a naruto tart or whatever right i genuinely think if i had went into this unbiased without watching either series but at least researching a little bit of what both characters can do i still would have thought that naruto would have won this death battle because naruto he has a lot of like hacks abilities almost that it makes it kind of ridiculous and i'm gonna use kind of little statements little statements just a little bit that i can remember off the top of my head and just because if they're gonna fucking take shit from like filler episodes in the video games a uh, reason why I mentioned the video games is because Android 18 versus Mar Captain Marvel they they really I remember after the death battle was posted like in the death battle they said Android 18 can absorb energy but it's never been stated whatsoever that Android 18 can absorb energy and even then just logically she she fucking can't do it right so all the Dragon Ball Z uh, you know fans were like no she can't absorb energy that's not her model and it's never been stated that she can do it and one of the guys that does the uh, the voices of the narrators for death battle kept trying to defend that she can do it he did this for like 
like a couple days straight and then he finally caved in and then realized like oh yeah there was an error a mistake in the scripting or whatever right and it's like yeah that that wouldn't have happened if he didn't take something from the fucking video games <laughs> And so that's why I wanted to just kind of bring that up a little bit. Like, I'm going to take stuff uh, just from mainly from what was shown in the anime and the manga. And just because of the fuck of it, I'm going to use stuff from the fucking video game. It's only really one specific thing from Storm 4, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> well, two things if you want to count the two different characters, but whatever. Right, so Naruto has a lot of abilities, right? I'm gonna be mainly going off of what Naruto can do, but I did see someone t uh, post a video, and he's a Bleach fan, and he doesn't even really care that much for Naruto or Naruto Shippuden, uh, Shippuden. but even he um, thought that Naruto would win this death battle, he's, and he's a Bleach fan, right? I thought that was hilarious, so I'm gonna link that video down in the description for you guys to go watch, because I think that's uh, a really, really entertaining video just to listen to, not even just to watch. Um, there's a lot of abilities that Naruto can do. Uh, straight up, just from the first episode, he can do the Shadow Clone Jutsu, the Clone Jutsu, Substitution Jutsu, just really basic stuff like that. Uh, he has multiple variations of, Ras of the Rasengan, so the Rasengan, uh, if you want to go with the Rasengan that um, Part 1 Naruto had in the Final Valley, the Vermilion Rasengan, uh, as it was actually like dubbed or what it was called from the fan base for an English translation. I don't really know that's the confirmed name for it. Um, and then he has the giant Rasengan, uh, the, the massive Rasengan, he has eight, he has age art, um, Rasengan barrage, he has multiple fucking variations of, of the Rasengan. And don't even get me started on the multiple variations with the Rasen Shuriken. He has the base Rasen Shuriken, he has a, a Bijudama Rasen Shuriken, he has a mini Rasen Shuriken, he has a magnet release Rasen Shuriken, lava release Rasen Shuriken. Um, from Storm 4, there's an ultimate where, uh, he goes into KCM2, and, he, and out, straight out the gate, he's in KCM2 with Sage Mode. He does, he causes multiple Shadow Clones to appear with multiple variations of the fucking Ross and Shuriken, and then he also has the giant Kurma avatar, right? So basically, you know, just the Nine Tails. you know, if you want to see what it looks like, you know, just, just go look it up, and I, I'm not gonna go into explaining what it is or what it looks like you know it's just a kurma avatar if you're not a thing you know what i'm talking about and so he charges a bg dama from the kurma avatar he throws all of the ross and shurikens at his enemy and then shoots the biju bomb <laughs> right at his enemy right out the gate you can already just tell that's insanely fucking powerful and don't even get me started on the sage mode in kcm qb chakra mode Sage mode not only enhances your fucking uh, your fucking jutsu, the jutsu that you already have, it, it gives you just increased sensory capabilities, right? And here's a statement that I forgot was actually in the manga, but literally when Naruto was in his sage mode, he was able to sense what the fuck was going on during the war arc that people were dying, like halfway across the fucking world. That should already tell you that if Ichigo wants to try to, you know, catch Naruto off guard whilst, he, whilst he's in a sage mode, he fucking realistically can't do it. He can't do it because it's just not possible, right? It's just not possible. Once he activates sage mode, it's, it, it's done. He can't catch him off guard and just... <laughs> and then he has, like I said, with the Rasen Shuriken, uh, not only can he just, like, you know, fucking shove it up right at his fucking gut and shit, his stomach and shit. He can fucking throw the fucking thing. He can throw the fucking thing, and then KCM, right? KCM QB Chakra mode. He has Q he has KCM one, which even then off it gives him it, it, like it's not it's not as you know potent and stronger than KCM two, which I might talk about in a little bit. But QB Chakra mode KCM one. It literally, it increases your speed, it increases your durability, I want to say, and it increases, you know, your, 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 your strength, you're like, you're just, you're just base strength over in general, right? Like, literally, K KCM1 Naruto was able to outspeed the fourth Raikage, and then Sage Mode Naruto was able to outspeed the Edo Tensei third Raikage. Like, I... I'm not gonna say outspeed. I may, I might be highballing it a little bit with Seijiro Naruto, uh, and 
not only that, I forgot to mention this too. The Sage of Naruto that fought Edo, Edo Tensei, uh, third Raikage, that was a shadow clone as well. So even then, you know, he just has mul he, he can use multiple shadow clones for, with KCM with Sage Mode or have multiple shadow clones with Sage Mode just by himself, just base. Um, you know, he he has uh, the BG Bomb and stuff like that. He can just go into KCM 1, use B BG Bomb and stuff like that. There's a there's a transformation, not a transformation, there's a form in the, f the final valley versus Sasuke. You know, Rinnegan, uh, or Rene Sharingan Sasuke, where he's in the Kurama Avatar, right? He uses the Shadow Clone Jutsu in the Kurama Avatar, and that creates two more. And what Naruto decides to do is that he decides to... He decides to fuse the three Kurama Avatars and in, into one, to where it now has, like, six arms and, like, three heads and shit. And then in one hand, in one hand he has a BG Bomb Rasen Shuriken, and in the other hand he has a giant fucking <laughs> giant Rasen Shuriken, right? He throws both of these at Sasuke, and Sasuke powers up with like the power of like all nine tailed beasts with the Susano and stuff like that. With with like, Amaterasu on the fucking arrow and shit, with Kieran in the anime, and with Kieran in the anime, and then he shoots it at the Naruto's attack and almost completely blows up the final valley. Like I, I don't I don't even know what else to say about that. I I forgot to mention. Sorry, I, I think I moved my hand in front of my mic really quick. Uh, I forgot to mention as well that he has stage six paths, which I don't understand why people. Are confused to whether or not Naruto can or can't use it. He can still use it. Come on, like that's just fucking that's just fucking stupid. If you don't think that he can't use it anymore, right? That, that, that's that's just fucking dumb. But whatever. But <laughs> anyways, if they're gonna use ending like ending Final Valley Naruto, at that point he still has six path Sage mode, which means he has Yin Yang release, which means that he also has the Truth Seeking orbs. Right, he he has the truth seeking orbs, and the truth seeking orbs completely, you know, kill anyone basically. Right? I, I don't really know how I don't really know how to explain what the truth seeking orbs can do, but pretty much if Ichigo gets hit by one of these truth seeking orbs, you know, he's done. You know, he can't fucking move anymore, and then he's just he's just dead. He can't he can't do anything after that. It's ridiculous. Naruto has all these abilities up his sleeve that it makes it almost insanely impossible for Ichigo to kinda do what he can to go after him, you know? And I can go into what Ichigo can do, but it's not a whole lot. Which is why I don't even just which is why I I, I don't even really want to talk about it. You know, it's not a whole lot. Uh, one more thing Naruto can do, uh, he can fly. Once he gets 6 pass Sage Mode, he can fucking fly. And uh, apparently Ichigo can fly too at a certain point in the series after he unlocks a certain ability. But, you know, it doesn't matter if Ichigo can fly because Naruto can fly too. So it, it just doesn't even matter. It just seems fucking retarded that Death Battle and Screw Attack are doing this fucking death battle. It seems retarded that Screw Attack is doing this fucking death battle because on, in my opinion it almost seems one-sided and even then they're probably just doing it because views for Death Battle are, are dropping I guess. You know? They haven't like gotten like over like 5 million views I guess since like what Android 18 versus Captain Marvel? So, something like that? I don't know. It's just stupid, man. It's just stupid. I'm gonna go into this death battle, like I said, completely unbiased, not really caring, you know, who wins or who loses or not, but it's just my personal opinion. They, they really shouldn't be doing this, you know? It's just gonna end up with an anime war catastrophe all over through the fucking internet, and someone's gonna prove uh, which character wins and for what reasons. But whatever. Right, whatever. So, <laughs> that's pretty much my statement on, like, the whole Naruto versus Ichigo bullshit. I, I just think it's fucking stupid. You know, if you think Ichigo wins, you know, more power to you. You know, if you think Ichigo wins, then, well, <laughs> yeah, like I said, more power to you. It's, it's your opinion. I have my own opinion. Da -da -da -da, whatever, right? I don't really care. 
So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed me kind of ranting about this shit, my face is like really hot now and stuff like that. I, I guess I got really nervous for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a fantastic day. And I'm out.